So here comes some more footage of the Teutonic Knights Castle in Bern and around the Church of the Black Cross. Well, can you all see the Baphomet here? And it has, uh, here's the Swiss cross. And why is this thing in the middle? You know, well, uh, a pilot like in, in, 19, in the 1920s, he saw that in Egypt, the pyramid has in fact eight sides. It's like bent in the middle. The sides are all bent in the middle, which you can see here. And I showed you in, in the Octagon, the Empire of Darkness and some other films, that the, uh, the Swiss cross and the Templar's cross uh, are in fact out of a pyramid. And here you can see that the side of the pyramid is, uh, and here, you know, so it, it is in fact twisted. It's bent here in the middle. And the Swiss cross looks exactly the same, in the same way as that uh, horrendous uh, Baphomet picture of the, uh, of the Templars. So here is Baphomet. I explain you what it means. Ba, fa, ha, me. The, uh, the souls return to the pyramid. Ba is the souls, me, the pyramid. It's all pharaonic. See my other vids for that. And it gets weirder, you know. Here is a goat, which is a mammal, you know. And here is a sort of a snake, you know, the two eyes here, the mouth. And the snake seems to get its food from the mouth of the mammals. It's like the reptilians are, are feeding themselves on, on mammal energy or mammal meat. See? And here you can see the, old, the whole image, which you can see just right after in the uh, in the moving footage and so here was the Baphomet here the Swiss cross and here you can see a crown you know because that's where they're from it's, it's the aristocracy and every detail in it has a meaning it has all it, it all has a sense and there it is again the Baphomet here with the Swiss cross and here's this thing at the um, which looked like the snake, which was underneath before. And now it's on his head, like being a torch. So the same the same thing of the Templars here on that Swiss Teutonic Templars castle. I made the uh, uh, footage one year ago in May 2014. And already uploaded uh, in this video here about Kim Jong-un, the Korean dictator living in the very same Teutonic community as the, uh, the Castle of Teutonic Knights is and the, uh, the Church of the, uh, the Black Cross. Maybe he went in there, most probably. And me here in Switzerland cannot openly watch my own video anymore on my own channel. And therefore, um, I, I found it on somebody else's channel. The same title as I had. So, here, I, I can see my own film on somebody else's channel. Well, thank you. Very well done. It's by Spirit Wolf uh, of the Wild. Sounds very Indian. Native Americans. Well done. You see, with the nice wolf in it here. Homitaku Yasin. So... Um, you know, this is information Swissy wants to hide from the world. So, I'll show part of the footage again with some new information. Therefore, for talking about that cheese-loving Swiss dictator sleeper agent, Swissy managed to block that video in most countries for obvious reasons, due to the Swiss censorship, Laws of the Omerta, Swiss Laws of Silence. It says, The Big Cheese. Kim fell in love with the treat when studying in Switzerland. Well, I showed you in the video where he did study and where he lived and where he went to the Church of the Black Cross, eh? He is Swiss. He looks a bit different from the outside, but I tell you, there he is Swiss. I told you in the Pharaoh show how they do it, you know? First, there's a Swiss witch that goes and marry a, a Korean guy. Then the outcome will be like um, uh, a half cheese. <laughs> a half cheese Korean. 
and um, the father will be kicked out of Switzerland as they do with foreigners, they can't see their children, you know, or the woman goes back to Switzerland, uh, the child is going to be raised in a Swiss way. Afterwards, if it's a girly child, if it's another sister of Isis, she's going to find herself, you know, going to North or South Korea, whatever, or find herself another guy, uh, Asian, North Korean, and they're going to make a child very quickly, and the outcome of the child is already quite North Korean looking, you know. But then the same thing happens, and the child is being raised with Swiss on Swiss cheese, well, that's their error. They made an error here with the Swiss cheese, eh? Which is the inside. The inside is all Swiss cheese. And it got a lot of bleeding holes in it, you know, in their story. Like the cheese. So, from the inside, it's 100% it's Swiss. And the outside is already uh, much more Asian looking, you know. So... This and uh, three, three more generations doing it like this, the outcome will be, will be this fatty here, but the inside it's totally Swiss, you know, and it's of course much easier to do these sort of things, you know, in America, and in Africa. Here's the title I put in the descriptions for you. It was a uh, half a year ago, not even half a year, yeah, half a year ago in 2014. Kim Jong-un loves cheese so much he's ballooned in size and walks with a limp. What do you know, eh? So it's probably not so good for the, uh, for the Asian uh, genetics to eat too much Swiss cheese. But, yeah, well. And here's another Swiss sleeper agent, a Swiss cheese eater. Pretending to be a, a tough Russian. <laughs> well, I come back to that one later. And remember, he's from Saint Petersburg, which is right next to the uh, Baltic power sphere of the Teutonic Knights, just bordering to it. Eh? And this is where Mr. Putin is from. So the whole story is full of holes, just like his Swiss cheese, eh? Another Swiss cheese eater. This is, let, let's say, this is the mistake they made in their perfect crime. Yeah? So, I can't stop wondering, you know, seeing this picture, if this smile here of the, of the, of the Swiss cheese geezer, uh, if he's smiling after eating the cheese, you know, as it is ballooning him up, or is it more like before having, you know, an appetite for some cheese? I, ju I just wonder, you know. So, I'm going to show you some more footage of the place, exactly the place where Mr. Cheese Geezer used to walk around in Switzerland. At the uh, Church of the Black Cross. Maybe he knows the priest I met and the other ones. He probably does, you know, it's... They're all related to each other. And the um, the castle of the Teutonic Knights. This is a Teutonic Korean. Don't be mistaken. This is where he lived exactly there. He was right near to it, you know. And when there's somewhere, when there are Templars, there are Masons, you know. And they rule the whole world. So that that's why he was there. That's why he was living there, you know. Mr. Cheese Geezer. So here comes some more footage of that place. So this is in Kunitz. It's real near to Kim Jong Un from Switzerland. <laughs> 1610 with the famous, like the Swiss Templars cross. Templars. Obelisk with the world domination and the devil. Always next to the water for Isis. Very old church. So this is all next to where the dictator where the dictator lived. 
Well, let's have a look at that grave there. It says Baumeister. That's a title in a uh, Freemason lodge, and Baumeister. Nobility. I don't know what that is. Uh, it looks like uh, it looks very occult, you know, with the two pillars. I don't know what that is. Ihr habt auch nun Traurigkeit, aber ich will euch wiedersehen. Und euer Herz soll sich freuen. So they're talking about the resurrection and the uh, uh, like life after. Baumeister, yeah, like means a mason. So here is the Rittersaal or Hall of Knights of the Teutonic Knights. Uh, which is even said on the entrance door with an official tourist sightseeing indication on the door. Now, if you think, therefore, you're invited for sightseeing, well, you're wrong. It's just a Swiss trap. So Swissy can call up the police again, make problems, and force themselves on camera, making themselves important, as you will see on the uh, on the footage just after so just watch the following footage of these swiss troublemakers so this is the knights the knights room of old people <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to know. Why well, it's 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 actually it's not of your business. Yeah, we don't want to hear your Nazi shit. Yes, bye bye. Here it says uh, one more time: um, the King Henry the Seventh giving away his castle in 1226 to the Teutonic uh, Knights Order on the shield uh, outside the castle. The German king Henry the Seventh or Heinrich the Siebte lived from two, uh, 1211 to 1242. So when he gave the castle away to the Teutonic Knights in 1226 he was only 15 years old and only lived another 16 years after. Uh, it's the same crown you find on the um, on the police logo of of Switzerland of Bern, and of their judiciary. So, you, know, you know who's ruling. Who who the ones are that are, are in power. And exactly fifty years after the king's death, Switzerland got their so-called independence through the foundation of Octogon in 1291 which was led way through this king offering bases for the new rulers and still of aristocratic descent, which can furthermore be proven by looking at the crown of the Swiss police and Swiss justice department in Bern, with a crown in their logo. So here you can see it. This is um, the justice, um, Gericht, you know, it means justice department here of Bern with a crown on it. Well, why is there a crown? If the Swiss say, we, the Swiss, we have our direct democracy and we are ruling the damn country ourselves, why should then there be a crown? And here it says Strafabteilung. That means there's a prison. And this is the prison in Bern. It's completely sealed off uh, where people get heavily uh, tortured by code O2T as they did with that Austrian guy who wanted to sell banking CDs to Germany and the IRS in uh, the United States, uh, for which in only two times, uh, two weeks time, they suicided the man. It says Anwaltschaft, you know, Amthaus in Bern. 
with the logo of the aristocracy. Yeah, I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit. There you go. Well, well, why is there a crown on the bear? Do bears have crown in the forest? Do bears have crowns in the forest? No, they don't. You know, the bear is probably the, the working class, the people, and the crown is on top of it. They are still there, you know. But the Swiss are very, you know, obedient. That makes a different, the difference, you know, and, and they're very mixed with Pharaoh because of the, uh, due to the uh, Prime Noctis. Uh, I mean, this is the proof. The crown is still ruling. So the king g gave it away to the uh, the Teutonic Knights, the castle in, in Bern Konitz, but they were all still of aristocratic descent. They're still there. You see, they're here. And for the Swiss police, same story. You see, the crown on it, the police. Um, they are the ones who are terrorizing me, giving me murder threats, you know, lying stuff together. The Bernese police. And they, they've been given orders, they are given orders by the crown, with the fleur de lis on it, you see. Well, why is there a crown on top of the bear, of the, on top of the police, you know? <laughs> well, I mean, in the times of the kings and queens in the Middle Ages, there was no police yet. But there were knights. So they are the knights of the, well, of the Templars, and they are the Teutonic Knights, you know, who, who came, settled down here, founded the country, and then went on to, to the Baltic, killing people, murdering people, you know, and, and First World War, Second World War, where well, you name it, they're behind it all. Now let's go back to the Baltic and have a look what the Swiss Teutonic Knights have done all the atrocities in the Baltic. And as Leningrad, or now St. Petersburg, is the nearest big Russian town next to the Teutonic territory, and also on the Baltic Sea, in World War II, the Nazi Teutons knew exactly where to attack and drop their bombs on the starving population and killing more than one million men, women and mostly children of St. Petersburg then called Leningrad. And to the Russians it's a well-known documented fact that they were betrayed from the inside by the descendants of the Swiss Teutonic Knights, being Swiss sleeper agents for centuries in the region, killing Russians and their children from the inside out, from the inside out like a Swiss virus and worldwide Swiss speciality of Swiss sleeper agents. And uh, this is from uh, Wikipedia. Here you can read also about the um, civilian ca casualties. They even, they even numbers like one and a half million. And then another million died even after the war. So, here you can see the dead bodies. So this is next to the you know, it's important because it's it's right next to the Teutonic uh, sphere of influence, or where they, uh, you know, where, where where they had their territory. And here it says, under civilian support of military operations, the Nazis had a special intelligence unit that operated in secrecy, focused on causing more death and destruction in Leningrad through sabotage to destroy the morale and spirit of its citizens, you know, like killing children and, you know. Some of the Nazi secret agents were ar arsonists, arrested while setting fire at storage facilities in besieged Leningrad, you know, killing the food for the babies and the children. Hundreds of thousands of people dying because of that. Water and food supplies were often found poisoned and infected by the Nazi spies infiltrating the city. Oh, this is horrible. What, what, what a way of warfare, you know, it, it was meant to murder. You know, it, it really is a, spe a Swiss speciality. Well, who, who can do this, you know, take away the food for the children and, and poison the wells and who can do this, you know. 
I tell you, this is very, very Swiss. They've always been doing it, and they are the descendants of the Teutonic Knights who first came after the um, uh, the Crusades in the Middle East. They first came in Switzerland, and together with the Templars, they founded Octagon. And it goes on, and it goes on, and now there's a big one coming up. So when the Nazis attacked Russia in 1941 and financed by one billion Swiss francs for Operation Barbarossa, the Russians actually believed to live through attacks of the Teutonic hordes again, and even said so am among each other, and in fact nothing further from the truth. Even more if you see here the swastika in the... Um, the cross of the of the black Teutonic Knights, just as in um, in the black the black cross church in Switzerland. So this is from the Nazis, the Second World War. Now carefully watch this eye. His this is Emperor Redbeard, or Barbarossa. Just look at his blue Hitler eyes. The same blue eyes as Hitler. Yes, Mr. Hitler had blue eyes, like this. Uh, but as everything was in black and white, and as he was always sort of angry and shouting, you know, his uh, pupils uh, dilated, you know, it always looked like if his eyes were black. But he had very blue eyes. And just imagine this guy with the Hitler moustache, eh? And with the, uh, the uniform, well... So why the name Barbarossa for the Swiss-financed Russia campaign? Well, that's again nobility-related and also Teutonic Knights-related. Emperor Barbarossa lived from 1155 to 1190 during the Crusades and died on, 10th, on June 10th in Turkey while on the Third Crusade. And in the very same year of 1190, the, the Teutonic Knights were founded, you see. He was the Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire, also called Frederick I of the German Hohenstaufen dynasty, per A, big house bloodline of Pharaoh. To which, in fact, also Hitler belonged. Therefore, giving the name of one of his ancestors to the Crusades of 1941, and against Russia. Another Hitler linked to the aristocracy, just as he was always carrying a painting of another Frederick with him, of uh, the Prussian Teutonic Emperor Frederick the Great, also called Fritz the Faggot. You know, the aristocracy has always been trying to attract young men, you know, to wage their wars for them and, and them getting fil filthy rich out of it. Like today and before the Second World War, you know, all this sort of, yeah, for instance, Borsenschaften, like in the university, you know, they even even today, you know, like in Austria and in Germany, um, they, they are the elite, you know, they be, they becoming judges and um, you know uh, intellectuals and all that, or uh, police um, commissioners, you know, and and. So they are at the university, and even today they're walking around with sabers, you know, and it's, why wow, it looks so nice, and, and man, uh, like in, in manhood, you know, to have a scar over your face from mouth to ear, like, you know. And uh, the same thing was happening in the, um, in the Second World War, you know, and before. All these uh, so-called wannabe warriors, you know, trying to make themselves brave, you know, and uh, to 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 think of of a of a middle aged um, to, to ad identify themselves with a middle aged um, medieval knight like this one here Hermann von Salza, and the Germans they even had SS Panzer divisions or battalions with uh, uh, called Hermann von Zan Salza, uh, Hermann von Salza, yeah. It, all, it has always been the expansionist pharaoh's aristocracy waging all these wars. Then Barbarossa's grandson, Emperor Frederick II, 
was a very close friend with the Grand Master of the Order of the Teutonic Knights, Hermann von Salza, also an aristocrat, uh, who was the leader of the Teutonic Knights for 30 years, from 1209 to 1239, and who transformed the original Hospice Order into a sole military order. And here it says somewhere that he was a um, he was a landgrave uh, from a castle, you know. Even a, here it says uh, Drubor Castle. It's always the aristocracy. And look here, the black cross, just like in the that Satanist church where it was, uh, with all those horrible people there in Bern. In fact, if you think of war, you should immediately, without you know hesitation think of the aristocracy because they always were the war makers and they still are the war makers so war is aristocracy war is nobility and here we can see how the holy roman empire uh, of uh, frederick the first and the teutonic knights of hermann von salza were very close operate as one and so barbarossa for the 1941 Teutonic Knights um, operation uh, against Russia financed by the Swiss. In fact, I personally knew descendants of Hermann von Salza, and I could tell you more about it, but um, about why else the name uh, Barbarossa in 1941. But I prefer not for the time being.